Major League Soccer. Let's talk LAFC, where it sounds like Denis Boanga wants out. The 29-year-old Gabon international, who scored 38 goals across all competitions in 2023, is looking to go back to Europe. The striker telling a French outlet that, quote, my objective is clear. I want to come back to France or another European club. End quote. Boanga is under contract with LAFC through the 2025 season. Herc, what do you think? Can LAFC afford to lose Denis Boanga? Drama! Um, let's call it what it is, Seb. This is a message, and that message by Denny Boanga and his camp is very mm -hmm. clear to John Thornton and LAFC. Pay me. Pay me, pay me, pay me. He's not going anywhere. He's under contract. There is no I leave. He's under contract. But there is a, can I get paid? Your man scored 38 goals last year. Your man was running things in Major League Soccer, in Leagues Cup, in Champions League, whatever the case may be, the game I played, I scored in, mm -hmm. pay me. I see what other players in the league are making, pay me. Here's the thing, Denny. John Thornton doesn't strike me as the type of individual or the type of front office official in this league that's going to be strong-armed, and especially not publicly. You need to be very careful with what you do here. Does Denny Bawanga deserve to get paid more than what he's making? Absolutely. But there are ways to go about it. Now, you just asked me, can they afford to lose Denny Bawanga? LAFC won an MLS Cup. Am I correct? Yes. They did. Was Denny Bawanga one of the more important players in the lead-up or in the winning of that MLS Cup? No, in fact, he struggled and struggled mightily in the lead-up uh, in regular season trying to score goals. Mm -hmm. I believe Portland away last game of the season was when he scored his first goal. And if you think about the players who had more to do with lifting that trophy that season, Ilie Sanchez, Carlos mm -hmm. Vela, Kellen Acosta, uh, Gareth Bell, who was very important in keeping that team alive in the final, uh, Crepeau, and ultimately John McCarthy, yeah. you know, with That's the That's two years ago, Herc, and none of those dudes well, dropped so 38 in a calendar let year. Let me finish. Let me finish. Let me finish. Let me finish. What he's trying to say is, pay me. Pay me. But by no means was he the guy that made you mm -hmm. lift a tournament, lift a trophy. He can be that guy for you right now. But LAFC has never had a problem with letting its star players go. Letting the star's figures go, whether they be players, whether it be rookie of the years, I'm sorry, uh, defender of the years, whether it be coaches, whatever the case may be, they move on. John Thorrington mm -hmm. moves on. So be careful what you wish for, okay? Because right now things went very well for you at LAFC in Major League Soccer. And maybe, just maybe, you get paid. Or just maybe, just maybe, you don't. And it's a miserable couple years until you leave. Yeah, and that's, that's the point, right? Is, is what happens once you open Pandora's box. John Thorrington has come out and said, he's addressed this publicly, that it'll take a massive fee. So you're thinking probably, I don't know, what, 15, 20 million? What's it gonna, what's it gonna take to get LAFC to move on from this guy? And who in Europe, realistically, Herc, and there has been some links to Saudi Arabia, but who in Europe would have 15 to 20 million dollars in the winter transfer window when we know there's not all that much money floating around to spend on Denis Bawanga. My question to you is, do you have a problem with what he's saying, pay me more, and doing it in this public manner where he's saying, I want out? Like, he's not saying, I wouldn't mind going back to Los Angeles. He's saying, my objective is clear, and basically, I want to be anywhere in Europe, but not in Los Angeles. You have a problem with how far he's taken that messaging? I mean, listen, whatever you got to do, get paid, right? But the messaging, the way you go about it, there needs to be a certain form of tact. If I'm an LAFC fan, I, I'm upset. W what's going on here, Denny? We took you from the second division in France and brought you in and made you a marquee player when you now have this platform. And by the way, you are making more than you would have gotten paid in the second division in France. And here you are just saying, not, not that, hey, I want to go back to the table, I want to restructure my deal, but you're saying, I want to leave. I would have a problem with that if I was an LAFC fan. Uh, but you got to do what you got to do to get paid. And if that's what Denny Boanga and Denny Boanga's camp thinks they have to do, more power to him. I wouldn't go about it that way. And you are dealing with fire. Um, mm. In my time from seeing John Thorne, who's one of the smartest individuals, uh, at least in the front office that I've seen in Major League Soccer, I don't think he's ever been strong-armed, if you will. I don't think he's ever taken lightly to a player asking to leave it. And, and quite frankly, half the time, he doesn't even let it get there. You're out before it even happens.